I get asked the most is about how to cut very particular different kinds of materials. So today we're going to talk about cork fabric. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and cutting cork fabric with your scan and cut is a dream. <laughs> So this is a very thin piece of cork, and this is a piece of cork leather. You'll notice that the cork leather is different on the two sides, and that be is because the way the cork leather is made, it involves a lamination process, so that it can be sewn and stitched, and people say that um, cork fabric is like leather, because you can bend it, you can stitch it. If you try to rip it, it doesn't, I mean, I'm really pulling, it doesn't really rip. When you take traditional cork and you bend it, uh, it cracks. Do you see that big crack? If you want to tear it, it tears, but it tears all jagged. So you can imagine the issue, of course, is when you're cutting this, it cuts beautifully and tons of detail. When you're cutting this, it's kind of jagged, it rips, it's kind of a mess. So cork is not a good idea. Cork fabric, however, is a fantastic idea. I have my cork fabric placed on my mat and I'm using a slightly stickier mat to make sure it's well adhered. I've already done some test cuts to make sure that everything is right in terms of settings. So let's go ahead and get started. From the home screen, we're going to choose pattern and you can choose any design that you want. Um, I am going to go for, uh, why don't we do a snowflake? So let's do the snowflake, which has some inside cuts. Now I think that's gonna to be too big. So let's go ahead and set it, and then let's scan in our material so that we can see whether or not it's too big. So now that I can see the image on the screen, I can go ahead and drag my snowflake and size it so that it's going to fit onto that material. And if I want, I can zoom in. I like to zoom in all the way up to 400% so that I can really, really see what's going on. I can place my snowflake right there. I mean, if I really shoved it in the corner, I might actually be able to place something else there, but let's go ahead and do that. Say, okay, okay again. And if I'm still okay, I'm gonna hit okay again. And now I'm ready to cut. I'll just point out that the test cut settings that worked for me Speed is at a one, my cut pressure is at a two. And I have my blade set. I did test cut and I found that a nine and a half worked pretty well. So now that that is all set, I can just hit okay and cut. And let's go. Now that it's finished cutting, I'm going to unload the mat and then it's easy enough to peel off the excess and then I'm going to go ahead and use the spatula tool to help me. Now you'll recall that there were some inside cuts, so I just, they're there. I just need to sort of remember this is not going to crack when you bend it. So you just need to kind of muck it around or mess it around until you've managed to cut out or you've managed to pull out, I guess, your beautiful little snowflake. So you can see how perfect this cut is. It's really beautiful. There's no reason that you shouldn't be cutting cork fabric in no time at all. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to cut some cork fabric or cork leather, whatever you want to call it. And remember, you can treat it just like leather. So stitch it, make it into a wallet, a purse, or how about, I think they'd make some pretty cute snowflake earrings. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website. It's full of resources at scanandcut.com dot com.